break on that beat going crazy Noah, I noticed there's some um, holes in the foundation over there. What's up with that? Uh, they are there to anchor in the sidewalk into the foundation of the garage so you don't have any settling uh, and migration uh, that may happen over time. So we'll fill those holes with rebar and add some epoxy adhesive and that will uh, kind of keep the rebar from oxidizing and, uh, and causing that to migrate and eventually maybe settle and break down, which you could see on some older, older concrete jobs. Awesome. Yeah. These triangle things, why are they important? Uh, those elevate the rebar so you have uh, the proper flexural strength uh, integrated into the concrete slab. So they should be sitting on the bottom third, therefore if you have cars or any load, they can distribute the load evenly throughout the slab. And it also uh, makes sure that the rebar is sitting properly and not up and down, you know, a flat slab or a flat uh, mat all the way through the concrete, so to speak. So that'll give you your flexural strength. This concrete is not very strong. Without any reinforcement, you want to bend it, uh, it'll crack. But if you want to squish it together, it's got great compressive capabilities. And therefore, that's why we add the steel, because our, our climate is pretty extreme and the freeze thaw cycles are pretty uh, pretty extreme as well, too. So they That's play. what I want. Yeah. It's now the next day, the forms just came off and the expansion saw cut joints are cut as well. And we have ourselves a driveway. The pour was at about two o'clock yesterday and peak temperature was 32 degrees Celsius. The guys were out here working in the absolute heat of the day and they had to move super fast with the concrete setting. What you saw being completed yesterday was of course the driveway, which we're looking at. But we also decided to pour a four foot sidewalk that went all the way to the back to a patio. This extra bit of concrete here was really a necessity to get us to the back door. There's going to be some more deck that wraps around this back area. But the patio walkway here is 17 feet wide and 14 feet deep. We've also got two inches of slope from top to bottom and a nice little lip right here to make sure that there's no water entry under the sill of the door. A big thanks once again to Noah and his team for just being patient with me while I was walking around the middle of their workspace while they're trying to get the job done. I have to call out the finesse that Brian and Dana put on the top texture here. There is a really nice sort of broom bristle finish on the top that gives a no slip texture and it looks really cool. And check out the really nice troweling. On the edges, of course, I kind of expected that, but I like this little extra touch here right in between the garage door frames. It starts and ends within the frame here, kind of stops on the edge, and then picks up on the other side. Really nice. That marks the end for concrete. We've poured a total of about 1150 square feet of concrete on this project, and I love the result. I'll be bringing you one more project video in the series until we do a final wrap. The next one is going to be on all the final lighting that was installed and all doors. And hopefully by next episode, the hole that was a small hole and then a really big hole and then a smaller hole and now just this little divot will finally be gone. Thanks as always for watching. Please subscribe. Join me next time. See ya.